Today we have a special guest duo straight out of Atlanta. We have Coach Mustafa, the esteemed boxing coach, along with his protege, his number one fighter so far, hard-hitting heavyweight, Mack Truck Scott. Coach Mustafa has incredible insight in the game. Mack Truck is a young up-and-coming lion. Let's get into it. What up, Coach? What's up, brother? What's up, What's up? What's going on, chap? How you guys doing? Doing well, but yeah, playing. We were just talking about the ghetto fight at the bar. Oh, yeah, I heard about not, that. Not the fight itself, so, yeah, it was like, I mean, man, I had a lot of fights, and this shit was on, on another level. Hey, hey, that ain't no good right there. Nah, not at all. I'm telling you, man, it's the Barclays Center. Like, the, the staff just doesn't give a fuck. The garden isn't running like that. Dang, I didn't even know. It is in Brooklyn. Brooklyn's not what Brooklyn <laughs> Hey, Brooklyn, like all hipsters now and shit. That's so good enough. What's yeah. up, guys? How are you, How you guys? doing, man? I am good. I'm good, brother. I'm very good. What's good? So, so you look like a big old boy. How much you weigh in these days? I'm about 258 right now. You lost weight, right? Yeah. How much did you lose? I saw. Uh, for my last fight, probably about 18 pounds. Oh, very, very good. 18 pounds. And what would you like to settle at? About 250, 255. Oh, wow. Are you in the three up there in the three bucks neighborhood? Uh, no, I'm with, I'm with that high, about 285. My last fight, I was like 276, so I just want, you know, people they start looking a lot of sluggish, they look as sharp as I can be, so this fight come down, I feel better. Hey guys, please subscribe and smash that like button. And if there's any fighters you want us to interview or anything else, any questions or comments, hit us up. We're here for you. Hey, sharp. How tall are you? Five ten. Five ten. And what? What? Uh. What? What? What did? What did you? You rest in the way? Like, what? What do you feel like is gonna be a good weight for you? Fifties, forties? Yeah, two fifty. That's probably the lowest. Two fifty and, and a lot of squats. So that's that's it right there. Coach, yeah. what do you think? If you had your if you had your way, what weight would you? Yeah. Fifty five. Fifty. 50, 50 and fifty five is perfect. Okay. Okay. And well, how do you feel about all these really, really tall headweights these days? Uh, and people always ask me why I always kept my truck heavy, you know what I'm saying? And some think, you know, we bad, on discipline, but we spot Big Baby yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I saw that. Big Baby, 327 pounds. And he's like 6'3". Six, six, yeah, 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, yeah. and, uh, and he was moving that truck around at 250, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I couldn't I can imagine him being on 210, 220, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, like, those guys nowadays are just so big to it. Look, look, look at three later, later, later on Wild all night, you know what I'm saying? It really, 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 really. So yeah. that's why I never, I never, I never want him to get too light, you know what I'm saying? Somebody has a background voice in the I don't know. Oh. Somebody had, like, a merry-go-round or something? I don't know. I mean, it sounds like... Oh, that's that, that's that music out there. That's me? Yeah. Okay, I'll move. Um, that's, that's dope, man. So, so, I mean, how was, how was that for you, Matt? What you, what you mean? I didn't hear you say, say the question again. How was sparring Big Baby for you? Oh, it was good work. It was a lot of, to be honest, like, just mostly coach stuff. Coach been telling me, somebody did it. And it was, all right, this why you got to do this, 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 this. Yeah, that's that's more that's what it came down to. So it was a good experience, good work. And 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 it's probably a rare I've been on you when you had poor weight, right? Yeah. Had that how did that feel? As strong as he was? No, wait, you, you went you went in and out, I agree. Did you yeah, feel you were as strong as he was? Yeah. Yeah, we'll that. He's strong. He's strong. But 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 you were able, able, able to match him, right? Yeah. Great. Yeah, you going in and out. You keep yeah, going in, Marco. I, we can't hear you. I know there's there's background noise. No, no, you you keep going in and out. That's because when when somebody else has background noise, it takes over for a second. Because I have no background. Oh, yeah, neither do I. Right, that's better now. So okay, what what number of fight are you at, and what number can you get to to feel like you can tell some of the smaller titles? Say it again. What number fight are you at? 
Um, and where do you want to get? So you start to tap for a smaller title to get the, the gist of, of, of the game. Uh, I'm, I'm at number eight right now. I mean, I got like a small belt. I'm ranked number 15 in WBA, so I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm just lining them up. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep getting better. I want to get into those camps, get better learning. And that's, that's just kind of where it's at. Well, let me, let me ask you something. Um, so I can, yeah, it's a lot of background. You guys hear me? It's probably, I don't know. It's quiet. It's an echo in here. Maybe. How about now? Yeah, I That's think so. Good. All right. How's it better? Is that better? Yeah, it's good. I can hear you. All right. Oh, um, so 5'10 is the same height. A lot of people know is Mike Tyson, right? Yeah. Did coach? Did you do you ever employ? Because you know me and Jeremy were, were Kevin Rooney fighters for a little bit, so we know the style. Do you ever employ any kind of any kind of tactics because of his height? Um, offensively, you, you know what I mean. Like you, like using the height to an advantage. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course. It's very, it's, it's um very hard to hit short guy when they know how to get up on you and they stay short. So being that they real tall, you know what I'm saying? It, it's it, to me, it's a positive for him because he got to swing down. They swing it down, we go up top, they really can't see the uppercuts. So offensively, yeah, we take a lot of stuff that Tyson used, you know, hit him in the body, coming up top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. David Tua, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. David David Tua had that uh that, that uh that that left hook down. Was it left hook or right? Left, left hook. hook. I'm gonna rip your head off with that mother. Yeah. All right. Sure. Yeah, but but then but that said, if you knew that was his punch, you just gotta stay away from it. Yeah, you got to to the left. You got to hold the phone. I see Rock Man did pretty good with and, um, I be a Bucci. Mm. They, they stayed, they stayed in that They kept blocking the hook, pivoting to the left. They did, they did real good with it. Yeah, yeah definitely. How, how old are you, big man? I'm 23. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Right. So who else have you sparred with? Um, what other heavyweights that we would know have you sparred with recently? Uh, Bulletproof. I sparred him recently. Okay. Um, so I can't remember this other. It was uh, I said he another cruiser. He he well, he going to Bridgerway. Uh, he about I think he like nine and zero. I can't remember his name. Was it uh, what's his last name? What's his last name Green. Alante Green. Alante Green. Yeah, he fights on, on the tenth, I believe. Yeah. Well, okay. What are they calling cruiserway nowadays? It was it's, it's cruiserway then it's like a Bridgerway. He said he was going to Bridgerway. So remember right? that heavyway, but he said Bridgerway. What is bridge away like? 200 to 25? Yeah. The 225? Oh. It's yeah. the queen. What's the name? I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's like they kind of made their own. Like WBC made their own weight class. But it's. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so what's the plan? Like where yourself actually fighting for a title? Um, a title? I mean. I did my promotional, my management. They they kind of handle that. They tell me just line up and yeah. keep fighting. That's that's my. Yeah, it, that's very. It's very premature to ask about working for a title. So, yes, and now you you, you want to build your skill at this level that you're fighting at. Yeah. You want to make sure that you can you can go in deep water and swim. You know what I mean? Yeah. It yeah, definitely definitely the way it was. So, some of your sparring, man, you be. Dropping people left and right. You having trouble finding sparring? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, it's not no trouble finding sparring, man. Uh, I, I want to just everybody know people they they see me post a sparring, they be mad. Them be people who come from out of town. They come, they they they, they just come, they talk shit, and they say we're gonna spar. And they 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 friend, and they pull the camera on their end. They did they gonna <laughs> fuck me up? So I tell my people pull the camera on their end. <laughs> and then I, they go try to post me, and I just I just beat them to the punch. That's all it be. So people, all he all he does is post his sparring. That be people who ask for it. Now if somebody come and hey, we want to work, we try to get better. We they do it the right way. It's correct. We do it the right way. But you come and you I'm gonna fuck you up. Maybe them, them trolls talking shit, and they come and they they see that all right, this motherfucker for real. This ain't no joke. Them the ones that I don't. Them the ones that get posted. The other word they don't. I don't post the. I don't post the real word. Right. No, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? It's, 
you know, it's, if anything, it, it builds your reputation, if anything. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? I, I just use it for what it is, and hopefully that don't make people like, ah, well, fuck, they post sparring, because that's not, that's, not, that's not the case. Yeah. Well, you, you, you beat up enough sparring partners, the word's out, and you ain't going to get no boxing. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Jeremy, yeah. you know that from experience, don't you? Sorry? You know that from experience, don't you? I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, and, and, and everybody... You know, it's like the coach would say, everybody, you know, you, you got you to gotta fight them to, to benefit yourself. Or you got to, I'm sorry, fight. You got to spar them to benefit what you're learning for your next opponent. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not just I'm blowing these guys out. But, you know, you got to work with some guys. Like me, once I figured out what I was doing, I could spar with a 19-pounder all the way up to a 300-pounder. You know, because it's just work I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn something to make my game better. Yeah. It, it, I do that, too. Uh, yeah, like it's, full of, it's full of little guys, and they fast, and they got good jabs, and just work on defending the jab and all that. So I, I, be, I, make sure, I make sure I do that, too. I, ain't, I don't just knock everybody. I, try to, I make sure I learn and get better, get rounds. In. Remind me, Jack, how many amateur fights did you have? I had 35. 35. Okay. How old were you when you started boxing? Uh, my, my first time I started boxing and everything, I was nine. But then okay. I had my first fight at 17. 17, okay. Then yeah. you, when did you turn pro? How old? I was 21 or 22. I was 21 or 22. I turned pro. I was 21. Okay. And, and you know, I talked about this, but just for everybody listening now, how do you and the coach hook up? Uh, actually, it was I, I was with another coach at the time. And just, you know, just trying to get it bad. And I was getting beat on. Like, just, I was sparring. I was sparring real good competition. Like, they, they we cool now. And they, that's my real good competition. I was just getting beat on. And my coach was talking bad about me. Oh, he ain't shit. It's nothing. And Mustafa was like, nah, he is. He, he good. He in, there, he in there with the best. Like, he getting beat on, but he ain't quitting. He, like, bro, like, he ain't no hoe. I like him. And yeah. we just could never end up, uh, I end up, uh, my coach ended up leaving me, so, you know, Jim dudes was, was outrageous. So I was like, well, I just, I didn't go to that gym no more. But he was trying to get in contact with me. So was another coach was like, give him my number. But it just never went through. Then the gym I was working out at, he just came through. And I was like, dang, I was like, you come through, you gonna train me? He was like, yeah. And then it was like, a week later, I was like, you gonna train? He was like, yeah, I train you, man, yeah. And he was like, be there at 9 o'clock. Be there at 9 o'clock, be there at 9 o'clock. I was there at 9 o'clock. We thought that was like 8.30. I was waiting on him. And we uh -huh. And ever since then, it was been just been... It's been locked in, man. And, uh, Coach, on your end, a little background on you, what got you into boxing? Did you ever did you fight yourself? And then also, what got you into coaching? Uh, yeah, um, my whole family fought. My uncle, John Meekins, fought Major Taylor. Oh, um, okay. But title, IBF title. My father boxed. Okay. I boxed as a kid, maybe 50, 60 fights. I was like 14, 15 back then. Okay. Um, started getting in trouble, you know what I'm saying? Went into the streets. So when I got out, I was 28 years old. Boxing was not on my mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking about getting my life on track. You know what I'm saying? Right. Get a job, get a parole, blah, blah. I moved to Atlanta. And um, just Where are you from? Where'd you grow up? South okay. Atlanta. My family's from New York, though. Where? Uh, Bronx and Queens. Dope. Okay, so anyway, so you moved to Atlanta and then Yeah, then uh I started training, I went to a gym, Green Night City boxing. Real, real, real good established gym. A lot of a lot of a lot, lot of national champions, stuff like that. I just fit I just fit right in, you know what I'm saying? And then uh You did you you ever box? Yeah, he yes. said yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean how many fights did you have? Maybe fifty, sixty, somewhere between there. That's the yeah. yeah. But I was young. I was I was young. What wait? You know what I'm saying? I was real young. What is young? My last fight, probably 15, 16 years old. Okay. You know, J O silver gloves type thing. You know what I'm saying? What, 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 or who, or who, the many who's helped you develop the style that you're going to teach with now? My father, my uncle, um, my coaches in South Carolina. Okay. You. Okay. So, so what? Okay, so you go to the gym, and what? What made you go into training? 
what did you know what was that moment or whatever? I love boxing. Like I just boxing went from a baby, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you working trying to pay bills, but that ain't no passion, you know, that ain't what you really love to do, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm older now, I still love boxing. I love the youngsters too. So I go in the gym and you know, just start helping around here and then. I'm like, man, yo, I'm I'm fine with this, you know what I'm saying? I know how to train. I know boxing. And then uh I know how to hold pair of mitts, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, just getting really if you you know how to do something when you get into that kind of environment, you'll play right in. Right. You, you never you never wanted to turn professional? Never, never wanted to have a professional fight? I was in prison during those years. Uh, but you said you got out. I was 20, 28 years old, 28. Yeah, I got parole. I got, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying, I'm trying to. Yeah, Boxing yeah. in my mind back then. Did you, did you find Islam after you got out of prison or you were? You were before, before, before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. so I'm 28. Uh -huh. um, I didn't think about me fighting at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about getting a job, getting out off the road. You know what I'm saying? By the time I get back to the gym, I'm 31, 30 years old. I got kids. I'm not, about, I'm not about to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm yeah. working. I'm about to, I ain't about to play myself. I know I ain't about to do no fighting. You right. know what I'm saying? So that's right. what. But I still love boxing. I'm not going to box no more. I love I love boxing. You know what I'm saying? So, so you, you you own a gym now in Atlanta, correct? Yeah, correct. Dry house. Yep. How long have you had that gym? Three years. And what 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 open your own gym? Just uh me. Just you? You messing up? Let me go outside, man. <laughs> ah, it works. Just uh, just trying to bring something new to Atlanta. More like Atlanta got a lot of gyms, but they're more or less um, amateur kid type gyms. So, you know, trying to bring like a more serious culture to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. No, um, a lot of is out of, out of the south. That that part of the. So I mean, I'm sure there's some really good gyms and some really good trainers there. For sure, yeah, a lot. Thank, thank. And and you. Adding your that mix, did they, did you find that a little little difficult? Yeah, sometimes you get a little you know thing, stuff like that. You know, they don't know you come new. You know, who is this dude? But for the most part, it's okay. It's all right. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, you been how long training for? I've been training about six years now. Six years. Okay. And have pros. Ooh, right now, I got maybe. Close to ten pros right now. And you do you train amateurs as well? Yeah, yeah. About ten amateurs as well. Eight to ten amateurs. Okay. Okay. Um so that's great, man. I mean, so Mac, is there anybody that you wanna fight next? Any any heavyweight that's in the top ten or something like that, or you guys are just still building? It don't matter, man. I'm to me, I'm fiance, I'm trying to I'm just gonna get in those camps. I wanna learn. From ex world champions, champions coming up, I just want to get in those camps. I want to get right, get around that vibe. Cause like right now, we just really—if you really call it—we off the muscle, we're just like training hard. You know what I'm saying? We just—we I'm, I'm raw, so I'm just training hard. I'm just doing what I, what I can do. What we watching, what we hear. When I run into a couple of ex world champions, I just listen to them and I take I take the game and all right, that's so that's why I just put that in there. You know what I'm saying? But it, you know, it's a different scene. It. Like Johnny Rice, he always. I, you know, I've been, I'll just be on the ground. He say, "Man, watching Devin Haney come to the gym every day is motivation." Because the days I don't feel it, Devin Haney in there working. You know what I'm saying? He like, "Man, we turn up." Like even when Tank came to our gym, like first time he training, with, we was training with Tank. It was like the energy he brought was, "Shit, I'm Tank, crack down, working." He busted his ass that day, and it was like, "Damn, coach, like that's how hard we was." Like, yeah, motherfucker, work hard. We trained for like a week together, then he, he went off to camp. It was like before he went to camp, he just was trying to get get the car was out before he went to camp. And it was just like maybe like damn like I train harder and you know just running into real champions or going to a national and seeing the top top fighters and how they train every day it was just kind of that's kind of what's been going on right now. Uh, what else? Who is the Atlanta State Heavyweight Champion right now? Who? Who is the Atlanta State Heavyweight Champion? Uh, I think uh, Lugo is it Lugo? To a pro or amateur? Professional. I don't think it's amateur. 
It's me. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> there's a state champion. In, in every state, there's a heavyweight champion. You, you won that belt already? No. Oh. Oh. No, no, no. You won a belt, though, didn't you? What was the belt and you won? It was the NABA WBA, uh, WBA belt. It's like gold heavyweight champion of a... Uh, yeah. In a WBA? Is that what you said? Yeah. NA, North American. Yeah, NABA, WBA. Damn, that's a belt. They got so many belts. But still, man. Um, that's well, good for you. I mean, it, it, it is practice for the big. Cause, you know, like when I was when I was fighting, like I won the California uh, State Heavyweight Championship, and I was like, "Who the fuck fights for this?" And I looked at the record, and like everybody got it. You know, every all these legends have had it before me. I'm, oh wow, not bad to be in this group. Yeah, oh, nah, they don't got that. Not being there. They don't got that. Yeah. Is there a fighter that you? that you take a lot of their style out of, a fighter that you really admired and, try and you know, you try and you a lot of their shit? Yes, it's, it's quite a few. Uh, right now, I, you know, everybody use James Tony, but right now I'm on, uh, you know, David Tour, Roberto Duran. Uh, who else have we been watching? We're watching watching kind of a lot of James Tony. Like, I watch James Tony a lot. Uh -huh. uh, Both of them. David Tua and James Tony are really good friends of mine, though, and those are great guys to compare yourself with. They're, yeah, they're, completely you know. they're completely opposite of each other. Yeah, James slick as as slick as shit. And David Tua don't care; he get they bring it, no problem. Both those guys are really good friends of mine. So you've got if you're looking at those guys, I think you're looking in the right direction. Yeah, Coach, really what about you? Is there any any fighters that you really like learn the most from? Um, I watch the ball, man. I watch really ball, man. Um, you know, like I like, I like the slick just I'm saying, the real crafty guys. Um, you know, James Tony, Ezra Charles, Mike Gallo, Alfredo Benitez. I'm saying, I, I, you know, I'm saying, I like them. I yeah. so let me we always ask people this. So I'll go. I'll go with Mac for Mac. Can you name me your top three greatest time fighter? Your opinion. Of all again. Top three greatest of all time. Top three greatest of all time. My number one, I'll say Joe Frazier. Hmm. Uh, number two, I'll say uh, Sugar Ray. Which one? Leonard or Robertson? Leonard. Okay. And he, you know, uh, then I'll say... Uh, I like the white Muhammad Kawu too. Like it's, wow. yeah, that's why I say my, my favorite. That's yeah. great. But that's, about you? The white Muhammad was really, really good, man. Yeah, really. I watched him a lot too. Yeah. yeah, I watched him a lot too when I was a kid. Now, that dude could fight. What about you, coach? I kind of watch from Lester Styles. Like, I'm playing, like Mac Truck fight. I watch a lot of the short guy, the pressure guys. Um, but, like, who are your three favorite of all? My who are the great? I'm in your opinion. Top three. Number one, Dwight Muhammad Kawi. That's my that's my guy. Okay. Um, short. Um very mm -hmm. uh, fighters. Uh, number two. Mm. I don't know, man. <laughs> Riddick Bo probably. Riddick Bo. Riddick Bo. Riddick Bo. I like Riddick Bo, man. Riddick, Riddick. I, do too. I, I thought he when he was on his game, Riddick Bo was a bad man. You know? Jeremy. Riddick fire. Jeremy, you yeah. sparred him a bunch. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it knocked the shit out of me, so I, I got nothing to say. I don't Jeremy, who hit harder? Who hit harder, Lennox or Riddick Bo? Yeah, they both hit pretty hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know when your hey, when your bell's ringing, uh, you which, which side is just both is ringing? That's all that matters. Uh, yeah. Oh, so what's what's the third? Who's your third favorite of all time? A third favorite of all. Time. Uh, probably James Tony. Uh, yeah. Another classic, dude. Of course. Okay. Yeah. So, so let me let me let me ask you about right now. For current fighters, who, who would who would be your top three best currently, Mac? My top three right now. Yep. Uh, I'll say Tyson Fury. 
I'll probably put him at number one. Then I got Bud. And then I'll say Spence. I'll put Spence up there. So Canelo doesn't make it. Uh, I mean, I like Canelo. Don't get me wrong, I like Canelo, but it's it's a lot of stuff. To me, is is he get away with that a lot of fighters don't get away with that they praise him for it. That I think is unfair. So, like what? Man, the weight class. When you become that Canelo type fighter, meaning status wise, they're gonna let you get away with shit too, man. True. I mean, so yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's, everybody everybody gets a little help. They let Muhammad Ali hold people behind him. He did it every day, every fight he did it. They yeah. can't do that. That is illegal in the in the highest level. But he did it every fight, you know. So when they have your favor, it works for you, man. True, that's true. So you were saying, um, you're saying that what he did, the weight you don't like, he's like a the way just the hop in weight classes. Then you know, just like we we talk a lot of trash about Deontay Wilder. When he lost to Tyson Fury, he ran that shit back. I don't, I don't care. He knocked me out. I ran it back. Come on, man. You supposed to fight Bill in September, man. You going? I'm gonna fight him a year later. Nah, man. Fight him next. Like he fucking beat. Go get that shit back, and you can beat him. Go get that shit back. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Don't. I'm gonna take a year off. I'm gonna go fight Triple G. Then I'm gonna go. Nah, man. Go, go run it right back. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Then like, right. the, I feel the same way. With the with the weight class, with the, what, what's his name? He didn't care about. He didn't care about getting all the belts till Benavidez lost lost his belt on the scale. Then all of a sudden, now nah, belts matter. First they didn't matter, now they matter. It's just little stuff like that. It's like you you pick and choose, you pick and choose. You know, I mean, I'm salute. He doing that shit. Like I'm not a hater. I salute it. But it's just like certain stuff. We just come on, you know? we got it. Right. If he gonna do it, we got it. We got to We got to count it all the way. We just can't can't turn our eyes to it. That's all. That, that right. Is it. Okay. Um. So much for you. Right. Tough man. <laughs> um tough. Uh, I'll probably say Fury number one. Okay. Um I'm biased to tech, man. Take my boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> not I know him, he's my guy, you know what I'm saying, but take really go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take take can really fight. Absolutely. Uh, and then I gotta put Crawford up there, rightfully so. He he, he earned that position. Actually, you know? so uh, I was gonna ask you guys a dollar question, but I think you kind of answered. But um, the uh, question: Crawford or Spence? That's a real fifty-fifty, if you ask me. But you guys both put Crawford above him. Oh, no! I, I was going to say that. I don't know who will win that fight, but. Off accomplishments, what they've already done. Um, he did, in my opinion, he probably deserved to be number one. He already won at 35. He already unified 140 and went straight to 47 and asked for the best guy. That to me is commendable. He didn't, he didn't ask for, you know, he hadn't got Spence yet. He went there, he was asked between Thurman and Spence. I want Spence because Spence is probably the, 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 the better fight, the boogeyman. And, and for me, even him having that kind of, you know, I see him go to 54 fight and fight Charlo. Like, that's, that's boss. That's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got to respect that. Trying to, you know, let's do it. I'm really the best and I'm willing to back it up. So, um, you know, yeah. Just, what? Duke Ambosis has a shot against any Yeah, he got a shot. No one shot no that's no 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 made, um, K. Ambosis. That, that's the mistake. I agree with you, but a lot of people are making it. Haney is clearly better, but that fight night come, that always mean anything. You know what I'm saying? Um, Kimbos is a hard worker. I've been estimated, which feels like low end. You know, um, fight in Australia. So, um, like I said, Haney, Haney should be the clear favorite, but I wouldn't be surprised if. Campbell was in the way because Haney going through a lot. Big fight, his father not being there in Australia. Um, I think he should win. He, you know what I'm saying? I probably would favor him. But Campbell's just, uh, you know what I'm saying? He's solid. Some guys know how to win. That, that division. They, they know how to win fights, man. That's yeah. the deepest division. That's the deepest that division 
been in I don't know how long. That yeah. that you know, one forty range is so you know you you think Shakur a lot of people think Shakur is the best of, of, of everybody. They think you no. Know, what do you guys think of Shakur? I, I, I like Shakur. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say he's the best yet. I like Shakur. I did like what he did with Valdez. Like, that was, that's, that's balls. Like, you fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna fight me, so I, I gotta fight Jamel, then I gotta fight you. That was, that was hard. I like that. But it's, you know, I'm, I'm kind of locked in. I think Tank is the best at, at that, at 135, that, that whole range. I do think he's the best at that range, but Shakur him, that's a, that's a good ass fight. I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's probably the best fight, right? You I feel like those yeah. two are the ball. That's the best fight. Right. And, and I like Lil Haney. I don't know, man. I, I like Haney, man. I, I, just, I started, you know, at the first one. I first I was like, oh, I emailed him. That's some bullshit. The coach like, nah, watch it, man. Watch it. Be nice. Just watch it. Yeah. And I started watching him. I was like, damn, he ain't that bad. Then one of the guys that came to our gym, it was like, uh, was like, I spar Haney. You know, make him so good. Like, what? That motherfucker jab, his jab really is like that. And I was like, damn. And this one dude, I'm like, I know he raw, so if he's saying this, he just farted. Right. So then it just made me watch him more. And I'm like, oh, I like him. I like, but I think, I know, I, I think, I think Haney could be Shakur, and then I think Tank just be both of them. But then you know, forget Lomachenko still a play. You know what I mean? Definitely, I'm gonna take we just keep talking about all these other motherfuckers. I don't want to talk about you. I don't give a shit about them. <laughs> right. Right. I'm good. You're good, man. Fuck that, man. Man, who, who the fuck you want to fight? Who I want to fight? I want to fight Joshua. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I really want to fight. <laughs> right now. They say, you know, you get 20 and 0, 22, 23 and 0. Who you want to do? Blow the they Joshua. head up. Joshua. But, 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 but I, I, want, I, want, I want to say something like, um, we don't have to be 20 to fight those guys. Because in this era of boxing, Mac 23 years old, right? At 23, you were probably 20 something to know. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, probably. Bo was too because they fought more. You know what I'm saying? So so the record the record matters, but it also doesn't because you only fight three, four times a year nowadays. So really? Yeah, nowadays, yes. Most contracts you're gonna get, you're gonna you 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 gonna, you gonna probably get a, a four fight contract. So a guy can be four years in, only sixteen and all. But the guy is willing; he can fight top people. So um, people might say he only got seven fights, but in my opinion, um, <laughs> let's run it. You know what I'm saying? When, when I say when I say a guy's got seven twenty fights or or guy got, got seven, five, seven, I understand. Man, there's a a huge difference between, in my in my opinion, owner. So I'm not speaking for anybody but me. If you got seven fights and another cat's got twenty fights, man, I, I just think that's a world of, world of the but, but twenty fights that, and a couple of them he went twice. And you got seven and you ain't never been past eight. That's I mean that's 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 a no whole nother world. Yeah and no. Because you ever did 12 rounds? Huh? You ever did 12 The last fight was 10. The last fight was 10. You ever did 12 rounds? Sparring? Nope. Fighting. You. Not you. You. The coach? The coach. No. That shit is hard as hell. (laughs) You prepare for that, though. You prepare for that in the gym. You prepare for that. You can train, you can do 15 rounds, you can do 20 rounds sparring, all that business. You cannot prepare for 12 rounds of war. It just it just doesn't happen. You got that. Just did it. Last fight, just did it. I'm sorry, what? His last fight, he went 10 rounds in, in the seventh fight. I didn't say 10. I said 12. It's, it's only two more. But yeah, but that's a whole world. That's he, but, 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 can, but, but, but can they go 12? That's the thing about it. We ain't talking about, talking about Mac, no, Mac, he's, he's fighting an opponent. Mac, how would you feel? After I'm you, opponent, a true opponent who is just a guy that who, who who's gonna sit in there and will do the rounds with you because he doesn't want to stop because he can't fight next month. So you, you know, opponents are guys who teach you how to fight. That's what it was in my world. But when when we got just an opponent, I'm supposed to I'm supposed to beat this guy. He, he'll tell he'll he'll uh. You know, if I if I if I let up, he'll 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 turn on, 
but I'm supposed to beat this guy and because of my skill level. But what he's trying to he what he's supposed to do, not that it's supposed he's supposed to teach me how to do the rounds. True. That's what it was. That's what the education you get in the eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve is not like in the eight, nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve. Ten to well, twelve in a fight is a whole nother world. Well, you, what we at, Mac, how do we Mac? After when you went ten, do you feel like you tank? You could have kept going. I, 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 I felt I could have kept going. I, I felt I could have did two more. Uh, we and, and you know what? That's that's a good sign because my first ten, I was like exhausted, but I don't know whether it was here or here. And you know, and that's that's the true thing. Like that's what uh, coach kind of we, when we training is when you get tired, push up, like push through that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not like a, to keep pushing this when when you get tired and you want to be drowsy, stand up. You know what I'm saying? Get your box stand, just hold it. You know what I'm saying? Just get used to feeling that way. And that's kind of what he been teaching me. But I was, I miss farm. When I turned pro, the COVID hit literally the next month. COVID mm -hmm. came through, so it was shut down. But I uh, my guy Bulletproof, he was, he came to, came back to Atlanta. And he was like, shit, I'm a spar. So he was, he been sparring, you know, 15 rounds. He'd been doing it. And so he was like, that's what I started doing it with. I mean, first time I sparred 10 rounds, Coach really looked at me like, how you feel? Like, it's, it's, it's COVID. So he, he, don't, he like, you been in the house? I like, Coach, I've been running still. I still been working out. He's like, let me see. So we we got to six. He said, we, we started doing one more. We got to eight, one more. Nine, and we got to 10. He was like, this is the last one. Y'all ain't got no fights coming up, but I just want to see. And that's, I was sparring 10 rounds, 12 rounds, literally three times a week during the whole time the world shut down. Nobody's training. Everything shut down. I was still. We got our own gym. We were still. we still getting it in. I was still working. That's when I kind of like. I really say start becoming a pro. You know, start learning. Right. Do certain like you know. So when you were saying teacher, it was after a while. Me and Bulletproof went from having war to all right now. That's great when you go from a war to a to a classroom in your yeah. mind, and that's the best. That's the best farm you could ever get. Yeah. Then you know, cozy. That's when. Coach started really getting on me like, Matt, you ain't got to stop. Let's learn something new. You got to learn how to do more stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This, you, people get used to you doing it. You got to learn this. You got to do this. You got to learn this. Try this. It's sparring. That's when it's, it's sparring. Try it. Still try it. No matter if it's, no matter if you feel you can't throw it, still throw it. Even if you miss, still throw it. And that's when it started learning. That's, that's, that's like kind of how, that's how he teaches. Like, you know, it's. People try to, you know, he ain't fight pro, no, he, but he, anybody who fight pro, he's still teaching, is how he still do it. He still know, he know it's hard. He's not going to sit here and say, it's easy, man, don't you trip him. He know it's hard. He still, he patient. He trying, he trying, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what locked us in so much is he patient. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody look at me, I don't, I don't got the six pack, the athletic build. You know, we run sprints, I'm the fastest, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to quit. And I'm going to definitely... Most definitely, I'm still, I'm not the slowest. I tell you that, though. I ain't the slowest, but I ain't going to be the fast. I ain't the one that, when he run by, they look at the clock, and the coach is looking, and they, woo, whistling all that. That's not me. <laughs> I'm the one that come, that motherfucker in the gym every day. He busts that, he work, he work. First one in the gym, last one out. That's me. So that's when he patient. He real, real patient, and he, and he work with you. He ain't no, you know what I'm saying? A lot of coaches, they, if you if you come in, you, you go to the gym, he could be the softest one, but if he's six foot two, six pack, ripped up, swole, all the coaches drilling over him. And that's just that's just the truth. But if you got you got you got, you know what I'm saying, another kid, he's super, super skinny, coach ain't gonna like him because he's too skinny. Or oh, he's too skinny, or he's too fat. Oh, yeah. man, he's too short, he's too tall. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it is, that's, you know. That's what boxing is. Boxing is is that that one guy that nobody thinks can do it. He does it better than everybody else. Yeah. And that's just in him. I get it. And that's what I mean. makes coach so special, he'd be a teacher. You know what I'm saying? Even like, it's one it's one dude in our gym. He athletic as hell. He hit hard. He ripped up, swole. Mom, this no no bullshit. He could be smoking, drinking, doing whatever he want the night before. The next day, come to the gym. If he's far, if he if you give him if he sparks somebody in three rounds, he gonna knock him out. So when wow. he get past the three rounds, it's over. Body shot drop him. It's not. But he got the athletic. He so he just so gifted athletically. He did he get away with the other stuff. Dude. You know, so I want you know, so I want blessed with that type of gift. Where if I don't run for two days, I gain twenty pounds, and now I, I'm fight like hell to get off. I gotta stay focused. I gotta work, and that's just, I, that's what I learned. That's what you know. So yeah, coach, real patient. He teach you. Everybody different. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what make him a great coach. Like 
what I'm saying? You got some people who they can run 50 million miles and they tired in the first round. Coach, I ran five miles every day. I'm still tired. Well, then maybe that ain't for you. Maybe you didn't do sprints. Man, my knees right. hurt. Maybe you do bag drills. He do his other stuff, different strokes for different folks. That's what make him, that's what make Mustafa special. Like, he not going to come in and make everybody do his program because this is what I know worked for me. And that's what a lot of, I had an ex pro fight. That's what he did to me. Like, man, like, yo, he, he was a good pro. He won, he won the belt at Cruiserweight twice. He told me, like, this is how I did it. This is how you do it. Man, it's, it works for me. But, you know. Hey, I it's completely different than any other sport in the world. Yeah. Every fighter can't be trained the same way, and every fighter is not going to be the same. Exactly. You're different than Marco. Marco is different than me, and I'm and I'm I'm different than him. And we're all we are all unique. Exactly. And that's what makes us special. That's what makes. Uh, but hey, guys, we appreciate your time, man. Thank you so much for coming in with us. Yeah. We can't wait. When when is your next show? Uh, June June eleventh here in Miami. Miami, beautiful, beautiful. Well, after you knock him out, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up with you again, but thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Oh, thank right. you. Alhamdulillah. Be blessed, all right? Be blessed. Peace.